What is this? This is a turmeric solution that I have that I have in, in place. As you can see, when I add it to borax and let it dry, I get this. I get this orangey, orangey brown solution. So what I'm gonna do, this will be a short video. I, I don't know what I can do with this video, but here's the pet I used before and the turmeric comes right off. But I'm gonna open this up get some turmeric solution with isopropanol alcohol as you can see you see that it's starting to shift cuz it's alcohol it will it will shift very quickly and this is Borax, bor sodium borate oxalic acid creates a complex creates a complex with with the uh, cumarin in this in the turmeric. Colorless here, but with, with the turmeric, it's the interaction between borax, bor, bor, borax and oxalic acid. I know this is not very impressive, but as you can see, I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to have several bottles of it and put in about a hundred two two bottles several bottles of the stuff I I will not I won't I, I basically will, will, will not store it with with the borax solution because it might break down even in a light even in a brown bottle the pigment might break down so you got to add them separate but it's interesting how you can create um, rubicubrin complexes, and it's interesting that when it's um, when it's fluorescing, you get this kind of pigment. The paper surfaces, but the the compound with the with the rubicubrin doesn't. I'm not sure why, but as you look at this one over here. That's the effect too. The orange sort of fluoresces under a really bright UV light too. It's quite interesting. I, I like the effects. Thanks for watching part two. This is an, a neat, a new camp, uh, tripod I can put hanging up. I can do all, I, if I have no room, I can, it has little pods that you can turn and place and that kind of stuff. So it is kind of a neat procedure. Thanks for watching.